good girl, come on, girl. Good morning, everyone. It's Jeanette here from Enthusiastic Garden. And now this video was almost abandoned completely in its entirety because um, it didn't work out as I had imagined in my mind. Have things in your mind, well, I do anyway, of how wonderful it's going to be. And uh, it didn't look wonderful at all. I'm going to show you anyway because it's now five days later and I've had to I've been able to have a little rethink and also I've been on Facebook marketplace this morning and found something wonderful which I think will really work which I've got to go and pick up now I think these things are worth a try so let, I'll show you the video of where we are at this moment and I'll show you oops what I'm planning to do this morning and we're going to need the help of the wonderful Richard. So, uh, have a look. Carnival Corner is no more. It's now Corner. And the bunting has gone. The bunting just fell down and it just got frayed. And I said to Richard, can we, can we just keep one piece and just hang it over the the door of the cabin as a memento. He said no. So no was the answer. It made me smile. It did make me smile at the time. And I did enjoy it, but it is spring now. And spring is a time for change. I want to show you this area on the side of my bungalow, which is bland and boring, and we need to change it and zhuzh it up a bit. So this is the area I'm talking about. It's bland and it's dull. And I'm afraid to say this needs to go. Richard made this for me. I'm going to take it down. Nothing ever grows in it. I mean, you can hardly get any soil in. These are alliums from last year, which have been poked in, which yes, seen better days. I have even put an oasis in there, as you can see. And I did put some fake plants in that has got to go it's time for a change and that is actually my afternoon sun spot that could be a lot nicer so I was sitting there thinking what we need is a nice big tall planter and I've been online can't find any that are tall so I think I'm going to move this over underneath the window and then I thought, well, this rose, nothing much happening with the rose because it doesn't get enough sunshine. So I thought I could move this pot over to here. See, I already have one, which is there, which is in this rose, which is doing fantastically well. Maybe I could put that there I could put my purple planter there and then I could put the matching pot there. Right, I like it. It's actually not as heavy as it looks because it's only filled to about here. So it's more big and bulky. I think let's take this off the wall. That is the sound of the rag and bone man. Do you remember I said the rag and bone man comes round and takes all your metal scraps? That's him doing his little bell. I don't have anything for him today. Right, let's see if we can get this off. this go. Okay, that's that done.
yes, here's the climbing rose, which has never done very well. I have pruned it this spring, but it's only got two canes. I'm going to move this over to there. I can't move the big walnut. It's just far too heavy. I think it looks better than it did. Let's give it a sweep and put the table and the two chairs back. thinking this little bench which Richard made is nicer than the table it's less obtrusive and all we need is something to put a cup of tea on I've got my mats which we don't even need but it's a, a bit of decoration my friend Joe gave me these for one of my birthdays looks cute. I do think it looks a little cluttered but I think it's better than it was. I like the chairs with the new slim version of the table. I think that looks much nicer. Maybe I need to move the walnut but I can't do that on my own. I am very pleased that the palette hanging wall thing is gone and I could plant these with something gorgeous at some stage when the daffodils finish I mean they're all on their last their last legs really but I can put beautiful plants I, I just I do like it more but we'll have to see what Richard thinks I've sat inside for the last couple of hours and I kept popping outside as I don't like it. I don't like it. So I've changed it. Kind of uh, similar to what it was before. So let me show you where we are at the moment and then we'll carry on the video from here and hopefully it's going to turn out all right in the end. Let's have a look, Lottie. We still have the table and chairs in the middle, but with the smaller table, which I like, the pallet wall planter came down. The walnut Richard helped me to move over to here. And the purple planter, yes, it's back where it was in the first place. So let me go shopping, pick up my Facebook Marketplace find and I'll also pop into the garden centre, see if I can find something new plants to go there to jazz that up. I also need to get some rose fertiliser for this rose and also my roses on my rose wall. The tulips are looking wonderful. Really, really pretty. But I have uh, a new rose, which I'll quickly tell you about while we're coming over this way. We have the original rose there, which is um, which is the one that's here in the garden when I moved in. We have the David Austin, Olivia Austin. This one is the James L. Austin. Then this is my new one, and this is called, as we're celebrating 
It's the King Charles Coronation Rose, a beautiful pink. And I bought that for myself to celebrate King Charles and the yellow one was there, but the yellow one has been moved, oops, over to here because then I thought we'd have a rose of pinks. We didn't want a yellow in the middle. The yellow is now at the end. So I'll get some rose fertilizer while I'm at the garden center. But here's where we are at the moment. Let's go and get my shopping and I'll come back to you. A very successful shopping trip and it only just fit in the car. And I got three gorgeous plants and my rose fertilizer. So I've chosen these three beautiful Picea Glauca Daisies White and they're very, very slow growing, two to six centimeters per year and they have a unique, as you can see, a uh, very pale, creamy spring growth. Grows very slowly, hardy, suitable for all soils. And I like the structure. I'm, I'm, in, I'm into conifers at the moment. So I'm thinking, because I like kind of topiary appearance, I just thought three in a row, bright, beautiful color. And then they fade to a paler yellow, later in the season and then eventually a beautiful dark green but every spring they have this most gorgeous white or yellow rather lemony chartreusey let me show you closer i think that is just delightful and i've got some rose fertilizer as well so i'll go around and do all that so i think what i'll do i'll take these daffodils out they're almost ending very pretty and i'll dot them in the ground somewhere so next year they can come up so let's do that and then when richard comes home we will enlist his help i'll see what he thinks of my huge garden artwork sculpture 30 pounds complete bargain To do the big reveal for everybody. What? That big white thing. Oh, the cardboard? Yes. Right. There's a nice bit of cardboard. 
<laughs> there it is. Wow. Oh, God. Do you like it? Do you like it? Yes. It was £30. Let's show everybody up close. It's like it is for outside. Yeah. But it's like it's not very good light. No. But it's beautiful. It is, isn't it? It's been so in someone's loft ever since they bought it, they said. Right. I think it, I've measured it will fit perfectly so on that wall. Me to put it up. Yes, please. I've got to get some tools. Okay. I think this is lovely. And it's funny because when I went in the garden centre to get my plants just now, Rich, mm -hmm. I looked at the garden art and they were like, they had some lovely clocks and different things like and the tree of life and things like that yeah. in a circle. But they were like about well hundred. Oh. Okay, I think it's beautiful. It does look nice. Two corpses. It's beautiful, and I think the sun is going to catch it. This wall gets the afternoon sun. And it's quite protected as well, this wall, because we've got this overhang here all the way along. That Mansion House station, I just mentioned what it is because a number of you have asked in the past, and you might be curious, but on the old fashioned big red London buses, they used to have a destination at the top of the bus and they, it would be on a scroll. The bus driver would scroll it round or the conductor. Change their routes, they would put the next destination up and that is actually from Brick Lane. There's beautiful markets and little shops that sell all weird things. So this was Mansion House and Richard put it in that frame for me quite a few years ago now. And Mansion House is where the Lord Mayor of London lives and he conducts all his business, holds all his banquets and it was right opposite where I used to work so that's why it was so symbolic. It's lovely isn't it? That does look very nice. Thank you. Enhance the area. Yes. Love it. Good. Thank you. Good morning's work there. <laughs> and it took a while to get there. I love these. Just something that I was looking for, and so much better than that pallet wall planter, Rich. The, the, one made, the one I made. The one you really wanted. I did. But times move, things change, and I love it. The sunlight is going to catch all the oh, diamonds. Oh, yes. You're going to be blinded. <laughs> blinded by the light. And if you have a good idea, it might not always work out first time, but. It's always worth a try. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Jeanette. I'm the Enthusiastic Gardener and I will see you next week. Bye.